Hi everyone, David Jackson here with Sling & Stone Marketing, where I share with you the tools and strategies to help you market your business online. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos I upload. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add multiple websites to your hosting plan. So whether you have a personal website and you want to add a business website to your hosting plan, or if you have multiple niche sites that you want to create, and each of them are going to have their own domain name. This is a cost-effective way for you to have multiple websites and only pay for one hosting plan. SiteGround's new interface makes it really easy for you to manage multiple websites on your hosting account. So the first thing that you're going to do is sign into your SiteGround account and this will bring you to your account's homepage. And we're going to come up here to the top and click on Websites. And as you can see, I already have a website with WordPress installed. Now, in order for you to have multiple websites on your hosting account, you are going to need either the Grow Big account or you are going to need the Go Geek account. These are the only ones that allow the unlimited websites. If you are on the startup account, then you can only have one website. So then you'll need to upgrade. So to add a new website to your account, we're going to come over here to the right where it says new website and click on that. Okay, and now it gives you three different options. You can either select a new domain, which will have you type in a new domain name. And if it is available, it would be registered through SiteGround. So if you are starting out and you don't already own a separate domain name, then you can use this to find a domain name that is available and ready for you to use and it would be registered through SiteGround. That does incur an extra charge for a year's registration. Uh, I believe SiteGround is like $14 or $15 a year. I personally recommend that you buy your domain name through another company such as Namecheap. I will put a link in the description below. Uh, they are cheaper than SiteGround. I think they are about uh, $9 or $10 per year, uh, depending on the type of domain name that you buy. And if you already have another domain name, whether it is registered through SiteGround or through another company such as GoDaddy, Namecheap, or Bluehost, then you can come over here where it says existing domain and select that. And what that will do is you would enter in your domain name in this space here and then click continue and then you will set up your website using that domain name. But what you will need to do is make sure that you point the DNS servers on your domain name account to point to the SiteGround web hosting service. So for example, I have my domain names registered with Namecheap. So I would come over to the Namecheap website and I will go to their DNS settings page and in that I would change the name servers to be custom and I would put in the ones that SiteGround gives me. So as you can see here I have these two name servers that I get from SiteGround and I put them into the settings where I have my domain name registered. And once you do that and all of the DNS servers are updated then when someone types in your domain name it will be pointed directly to your SiteGround web hosting account. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use a temporary domain. So I will click on that and it automatically generates just a temporary domain name that I can use. And you can do this if you want to test something out, but this is not going to be something that you want to use as an actual domain name. So you are either going to have to buy a new domain name or use an existing one that you already have. So once you have done that, you're going to come down here and click on continue. All right, and now what I want to do is I want to start a new website, but if you already have a website on a domain name that you already own, then you can come over here and click on the migrate website. And what that will do is it will show that you can either have WordPress do an auto migration or you can have the professional migration done for you. Both of them are free options. 
I recommend that you use the professional migration because it involves the technical support team of SiteGround and you're better off getting it professionally migrated. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to click start a new website and I am going to install WordPress on there. So all I need to do now is put in my email address, create a password and then click continue. And then it's going to ask if you want to add the SG site scanner. Again, that does incur an additional charge of $19.80 per year. I don't recommend that you do it. It really just notifies you if your site has been uh, hacked or injected with malicious code, but it does not really help you in figuring out what the problem is or how to go about solving it. So I always just skip that and click on finish. And now it is going through and creating my site and it should take about two minutes. All right, and now it has been created at this temporary domain URL, but it would show the domain name that you have chosen. So now we can do one of three things. We can either go directly to our new website or we can go to the WordPress admin dashboard or we can click on manage site to look at the site tools. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go to manage site. And this is one of the things that I want to point out really quickly is that as you can see here up at the top, I have this temporary domain name, but it will show the domain name that you just created. But if I click on the little down arrow, it shows my other website as well. So each website that you have, each domain name that you have and created a website for will have its own site tools. It keeps them all separated and compartmentalized. So the changes that you make on one domain website will not affect any of your other domains and their site tools. This is one of the great benefits about the new interface that SiteGround has put together. With cPanel, it was pretty much a mess if you had a lot of websites on your hosting account. So now I'm going to go back to my account by going to the left and click on go to my account. This takes me back to the account homepage and I'm going to click on websites at the top. So now you can see that I have both of my websites, the one with the domain name Sling and Stone Consulting and then the temporary domain name. And now I'm going to come down on the temporary domain name and click on manage. Now I have the option of either opening the site tools again, which is where we just came from, or I can go to the WordPress kit. So I'll click on that. And I want to go directly to the WordPress admin dashboard. So I'll click go. And all I need to do is sign in put in my username, my password, and then click login. And now this brings me to the WordPress setup wizard through SiteGround. You can go through it yourself if you want by just clicking on start now, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to click exit. So now this brings me to the WordPress admin dashboard. And if I want to take a look at my new website, I'll come up here to where it says my WordPress and click visit site. And here you have it. This is my new website. It has the basic WordPress theme on there so I can go in, I can change the theme and I can add plugins that I want on there. But this is my new website and it is on my new domain name. So it didn't take long at all. It only took a couple of clicks, fill out a little bit of information and I was ready to go. Now, one of the things that I also want to point out is that now that you have created a new website with a new domain name, uh, you want to make sure that you create an SSL certificate for that. And what you want to do is you want to now go over to your site tools again. And then we're going to come over here to the left where it says security, click on that. And then go down to SSL manager and click on that. And then we're going to select the domain name that we want our SSL certificate to be installed on. Uh, in my case, it has the temporary domain name that was created for me for this tutorial. And then you're going to select the SSL certificate that you want to have. And a regular Let's Encrypt SSL certificate is perfectly fine. 
and then you're going to come over here and click on Git. So then it's going to go through and it's going to set up the SSL certificate for your domain name so that all of the connections to your website are secure. So if anyone submits any information or signs up for your email list, any data that they send to your website will now be secured and will not be able to be viewed by a third party. Now, once your SSL certificate is installed, it will show down here at the bottom and it will show when it expires, but you don't have to worry about that because the SiteGround tools will automatically renew your SSL certificate for you. So now you are all ready to go. You chose a domain name to create your new website on. You installed WordPress on that new domain name, and now you have an SSL certificate created so that your site is secure. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And if you followed along with this tutorial and was able to get a new website created on your account, leave a comment below and use the hashtag Giant Slayer. I thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. And until next time, go out and slay some giants.